Every farmer who spent time getting ready for spring planting has given hours of thought trying to solve this problem. Trying to figure some way of making a real seed bed with one pass over the field. Especially the man who wants to practice minimum tillage. The International Harvester Plow Mulcher does just this. Attached and mounted on the plow frame, it becomes a part of the plow. When the plow lowers, the mulcher lowers with it. When the plow lifts, the mulcher lifts with it. When you reach the end of your furrow and lift to turn on the headland, the plow mulcher does whatever your plow does. You can turn free and easy with no chains or cables to worry about. When you drop your plow back into the ground, the mulcher goes to work at the same time. Breaking up clods simultaneously with plowing of the ground, with no pulling of trash in from the headland. And there we have what we've all been looking for. A fine, clean seed bed. No trash pulled in from the headland and in one pass over the field. It's almost like a miracle. In fact, it has one thing in common with most miracles. It's so doggone simple, you wonder why somebody didn't think of it a long time before. It's so light, your tractor hydraulic system handles it with ease. It's made up of a series of 3 8 inch steel coil spring teeth that vibrate and rotate in freshly plowed ground to give the mulching action from which it gets its name. And it's as adjustable as all get out. The teeth can be set vertically for greatest penetration and spring action in tough soil or to a more gentle angle to let the teeth clean themselves as they work. Whatever you want, whatever you feel you need, in just a few minutes, the mulcher sets just the way you like it. But you say you have a four bottom plow? Six maybe? No trouble. International Harvester's plow mulchers are made up in two and three furrow sets. You can use two furrow sets for a four bottom plow, for five bottom plows, simply attach one two furrow and one three furrow mulcher set. Or two three furrow sets for a six bottom. There's no limit to the flexibility of this equipment. But more important than any of this is the job these plow mulchers do. To demonstrate the effectiveness of this job, we set up a comparison test using identical equipment in the same field except for the plow mulcher. One equipment pair is a Farmall 706 tractor pulling a 550 plow. The other is an identical 706 tractor with an identical 550 plow on which one three furrow and one two furrow mulcher have been mounted. The mulchers are the only difference between these two pairs of equipment. The difference between plowing with and without plow mulchers can be clearly seen. We believe this demonstration is important to any farmer who has ever plowed anywhere. Since everything is identical, except for the plow mulchers, it brings out that difference in soil is not a factor, that the only difference is in the use of plow mulchers. In addition to the one obvious advantage plow mulchers offer, reduction of seedbed preparation time, there are other advantages. When this plow mulcher breaks up the clods, it doesn't leave fine powdery soil that will crust over with the first rain only to let moisture run off. Instead, it leaves the soil nice and loose so that moisture can penetrate. But the real proof of the value of any piece of equipment is not what its manufacturers claim it will do, but what the farmers who buy them find out for themselves. Knowing this, some of these plow mulchers in limited quantities were made and sold to farmers to make sure that they would be tested by men who had no interest in their sale. Each had a different farming situation, or worked different crops, or practiced different farming methods. Now, after several plowing seasons, time enough to test out every possible weakness, International Harvester comes back to those farmers to find out what they have to say about their plow mulchers. Oh, I really like it. I, I do a lot of spring plowing here. And uh, I like to work my ground right behind the plow if I can. And this uh, mulcher attachment fits right on the plow. And when I drop the plow on the ground, it's ready to go to work. When I raise the plow up, it's up out of my way. 
Well, what we like the most about it is it uh, penetrates better than the drag, and then, then uh, it absorbs the water a lot better. Well, it's nice, like when you go down the road, it, you can just uh, lift your plow up and go down the road. You don't have to bother with your drag throwing it on top of the plow. And uh, on the contour, it's real nice. Your uh, plow wheel never gets into the drag when you turn on the corners. And on contour, it's especially nice where there's a lot of short turning. And uh, well, it penetrates real deep. And uh, when it rains, the water soaks in better. And uh, oh, it's awful handy. We use two threes. and. Uh, we have the one overlap the tractor track, so it, uh, you go over that twice, so it makes a better job. Well, it just, it just smoothed off the top of the ground and sealed it up so that the moisture didn't escape. It didn't disturb the ground underneath so that when it did get some rain, the water run, so it had a place to go right quick. I think it's a pretty good workable piece of equipment. I like mine real well. When you get it first put on a plow, it's neat and trim. And it raises and lowers with the plow and it's trouble free. I classify it as a dozen and a dozen machine. When I go out the field, it doesn't give me any trouble in dragging in the trash on the ends or on cross waterways. And uh, most of all, I contour and when I turn on these little islands, it isn't getting caught in my furrow wheel all the time and turn the valve stem off. And I guess too, it doesn't make me lose my religion. And it does. Well, I think it does one of the best jobs a person can have that the harrow behind a plow. So, there you are. If you want a piece of equipment that will cut seedbed preparation time down by plowing and mulching in one pass over your fields, if you like the idea of being able to make your turns without getting tangled up in drag chains or dragging trash in off the headland, if you can see any advantage in having a piece of mulching equipment that becomes a part of your plow instead of a drag behind it, a piece of equipment that is designed so you can adjust it to get the exact results you want for your own particular needs, that can be bought in units to match your plowing needs, from two bottom plowing on up to as many plows as you'd like to pull. If you want a piece of equipment with all of this flexibility, all of these answers to a long known need, and which will give you a seed bed that lets the moisture in instead of crusting over to keep it out, if you want a piece of equipment that will do all of these things and has been farm tested and farmer proven, then see your international harvester dealer for a demonstration. Or better still, let him attach a set to your plows and make this spring's plowing a quicker, easier, and less expensive job. <laughs>